I am an activist because I was mutilated at the age of five years old. I was suffering and bleeding. What I go through, I don't want other girls to go through it. This practice must stop. <laughs> For some time, people believe that white people want to come and dictate to us how we should live. This is our tradition, we cannot live it. But this FGM issue that has plagued our nation, we need to rise above it, and we cannot rise above it if we keep our mouth shut. Will you or will you not ban FGM outright? FGM is a deep cultural practice in this country. I don't think you want me to commit political suicide. But there is already a so major... Running, sir. You mean you're not going to commit yourself to banning it? We have a system that is taking care of that very slowly. Very slowly. <laughs> very slowly. <laughs> media was used robustly, robustly. After a few months, people started accepting that, oh, this is real. And because of that, they started complying with health safety precautions, and then Ebola ended. After that academy, we started seeing some changes because the reporters themselves started doing stories about FGM. They will invite doctors and explain the implications. And they will invite religious leaders who agree that FGM is not part of the religion. I don't read from Genesis to Revelation. The Bible does not mention about the business inside the Bible. He shall not make any cutting. Any cutting. God say you know for cutting money. People started listening. The majority of the population of Sierra Leone listen to the radio. When they hear, they believe. The medical the bundle are the same. They for stop this bundle are not good for the beginning. So the radio is a very powerful tool to use in such campaigns. The major gain that we've got in the campaign against FGM is that now it's a public discourse because the media now accepts those kind of stories. Before, you dare not, but now there is no radio, there is no television that will say, no, we don't want to discuss this FGM issue and female genital mutilation. Cutting, you know, fine for sister and woman them in the society. FGM hour. We'll talk about FGM. The time here is very, very cheap. Um, let me tell you, this is fact. As little as the monies were, these journalists are using those monies and they have been able to go through the media and sensitize their localities. So because of that, because of the media campaign, anywhere you go, people can talk now about it. We go to the communities and engage people and sensitize people. A lot of response will come out from the people there. The Deputy Minister of Education have officially commissioned the first ever modern school. The people of Matamba village has abandoned their secret society bushes for the erection of school, which they have been without for about 50 years now. How did this come about? I want to say by the help of the media. When we have a project that has the removal of two secret society bushes and then we replace it with a school, it was seen on social media. And so just two weeks after that program, I got an invitation to come to Matilda Village. I'm standing in front of the Shrine and it's about to destroy 
population there, they have agreed to concentrate and put their efforts on educating them. Mm -hmm. For far too long, female genital mutilation has been included in the alternative rite of passage for girls. What we can do as women, as FGM campaigners, we need to let the people know that we are not this way in the culture. And the only way we can do that is to make sure we engage our women, the Sowies, who most of them are illiterate. <laughs> Wow. As from today, I announced the business. is impossible, very, very, very terrible. We have over 60 activists. This is a global media campaign. Would they, would they fight against FDN? The problem is, all of them want to be funded. When you cannot fund them, they just feel discouraged and then they just go. So for now, currently, we have about 26 that we are working with. But we trained over 60 of them. The funding is limited, so that's a big problem. But I'm sure if we use the media we bust this, there will be a massive awareness and change will come. That's what I believe. So many lives will be saved, so many children will be saved from this demonic practice because I see it as demonic. 